Hey guys, this is Cam for 15 back out with another video for you guys, and I'm back with another Classroom of the Elite Season 2 episode review for you guys, as uh, things aren't looking good for Horikita right now. Uh, let's just say uh, the jerk, the, uh, you know, the freaking crappy individual that is uh, Ryuen, um, he's forced uh, our girl Horikita into a corner to where... Uh, gonna be tough to get out of uh don't know what's gonna that's gonna happen but the, this was a solid episode um i definitely did enjoy the build up and the setup to this um you know this week we pick off right where we left off last week where ayano koji pretty much tell told horikita that yeah kushiate is the trader trader and everything and pretty much horikita's kind of shocked about that um that like she's the one feeding information to the other class and everything um and pretty much he's like well you know we'll just have to continue on and just expect you know the worst to expect and we do get to the day of the festival and we kind of see how um well ken he's trying to inspire the team like oh or inspire the class like we can do it we can win and stuff like that um and things like that um but we see like you know those classes haven't even though they're like in the lead they're having some trouble because we see that in the other team mostly members from class c um thanks to ryu and um they're just doing these dirty tactics these uh cheating like tactics like we see how horikita she pretty much gets her ankle hurt or her, her leg hurts because well she was forced down and pretty much you had it to where girls were pretty much stepping on it and then re uh, and then our, and then ken he's just having trouble like he literally legitimately like gets freaking punched and gets beat up i mean they, and like this freaking like in this one competition um and stuff like that and it's interesting because later on we see how ken punches one of his classmates and the teacher is just comes across and is like uh what happened here and and there's like oh it's okay i just fell and even though the teacher said that like okay all right that's what you say it clearly shows you that you know these students are cheating and getting away with things that the teachers are not even seeing um because they're just taking advantage of the fact that they're from probably a long distance away seemingly enough there are like there's no like referees or anything but you know there's like these hostilities going on and everything and because of everything that's going on and stuff like that it's getting ken upset and everything in terms of like how the class is doing and stuff like that and it's just the whole thing like they he wants to win and everything but they're pretty much cheating and he wants to pay them back but obviously the class is obviously the classmates like no we can't do that we don't want to get into any more trouble than we already might get into we don't want to obviously potentially lose points yada 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 but obviously you know ken's not listening and stuff like that also at the same time we also do see that ken has like some sort of romantic interest in our girl horikita and we see like earlier he tries to encourage her to continue on um and stuff like that but obviously you know that's not a thing that she's really feeling at this moment and we do get a discussion between Ayana Koji and Horikita by just staying just from the standpoint alone because we see how Ken is just is just done he's frustrated he's like I'm fucking done with this shit I know I'm not I don't give a crap um anymore so yeah and that's kind of the whole thing and we have it to where Ayana Koji he pretty much it literally tells uh Horikita like listen you need to you do you need to get Ken back um for the team personally I'd rather have us lose all the games than anything because it's only going to make us victors at the end of the game, which it, it, that is an interesting strategy. And I feel like that's the goal that uh, Ayana Koji is going for. Pretty much lose these matches, some of, most of these matches, and maybe you make a late push um, and then they end up winning um, and stuff like that. But he pretty much tells Horikita, listen, use Ken like I use you, pretty much. Use him to your advantage. And stuff like that you know he likes you and everything will use those feelings to your advantage and stuff like that and horikita is kind of not feeling that but at the same time she's like she's just thinking like what's going on what can i do about this whole situation to the point she gets called in by kushieta to say like oh 
you know, there's somebody that needs to talk to you and stuff like that. And we find out, you know, Re she takes him to this uh freaking the, the freaking nurse's office and Ryu Re um Ryuin is there and pretty much we find out he beat up like this girl's ankle. We don't know what the hell he did to this girl's ankle, but got it to the point where you know, she forcefully is going to blame it on Horikita and since pretty much there's nobody there's no really witnesses to prove that Horikita didn't do anything, well she's pretty much stuck and the thing is this guy's like, "Listen, give me 1000 or I think it was 1000 or 1 million points or something like that." Um at the same time I also want you to grovel at my feet, which is kind of this dude I'm trying to get Horikita to do something perverted for him and stuff like that. But it goes to show you how far this guy is willing to go to win at all costs. He's willing to cheat. He's willing to freaking blackmail individuals. He's willing to hurt his own damn freaking classmates um, to get W's at the end of the day, which it, it is effed up. So Horikita, she's put in a freaking position to where this dude's got her in a checkmate position or got her where he wants her to be. So... It's gonna be very interesting to see what's going on she does have an encounter with her brother pretty much saying like she's gonna do her best and everything and it's just gonna be interesting to see where this goes it's be interesting to see how she gets out of this situation and it's very and, and i found it very interesting the fact that kushieta was there too um which shows that kushieta is also kind of somewhat in on this as well and we even see like earlier in the episode um Horikita pretty much confronts kushieta and she's like you're the traitor, aren't you? You're leaking information. And Kuji is like, little old me? Oh, please. I'm not doing anything. I don't know what you're talking about. And Ayana Koji is just like, huh, I'm not shocked. Of course, she went right for the, you know, for for the instant kill and stuff like that. So um, it's going to be very interesting to see where this is going to go. It's going to be interesting to see if Ken comes back to the team, as well as how Horikita is going to get out of this situation. Um, because uh, right now she's in a huge heap of trouble because she's pretty much being blackmailed. And we know if this secret goes out, well, then guess what? Uh, more than likely, Class D will lose some points um, and they will get penalized for this. More importantly, uh, she'll probably be penalized, but we'll see how that goes. But another solid episode of Classroom of the Elite of uh, Season 2 and stuff like that. But if you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of Classroom of the Elite, as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more Classroom of the Elite content or any other anime content I upload to the channel. So then, guys, have a safe rest of your day. Until then, guys, see you guys in the next video. Peace.